All right, today we're gonna to talk about the memory mode on the Zoom B6. So I've mentioned before, but we'll go real quick. The, the Zoom B6 is set up in with banks and patches. So in every bank, so right now we're on bank BH, we have two, three, four, and then it goes to the next bank. We have four patches for every bank. So if you're in memory mode, this is the bank displayed, which assigns each one of these channels patches to one of the corresponding foot switches. So let's say we have a tone here that we have set up and we want to run it on a whole bank with uh, different options. This basically this tone with different options. What we can do, come down here, we can go to save memory patch. We already like that patch that we know of. We'll save it to the next save. Let's go again, save memory patch, save. Save memory patch, save. Okay, so now in bank BH, I have this patch saved one, two, three, four times. So what we can do with this we can take one of those let's go back to edit all and let's say I want to change out the pedal the volume pedal and put a bass wah on it and uh, let's say we're gonna well we'll leave it at that here we can do this base patch with a wah. All right. So now we go into the memory mode. We have our basic tone patch. And if I wanted to keep with the same tone and just throw some wah in without having to worry about stacking everything on one patch because of the limitations and the processing power, there, we got it on the wah. Uh, let's go there, for example. We can go to let's see change effect. Um, let's say we want to add a, let's add an envelope filter onto that one. Always keeping in mind our processing power. Here, so now we have Go back into memory mode. I have my normal patch that we created just for a regular clean tone with a volume pedal. I can just quickly stomp right next to the same pedal without the same patch without the volume but with a wah. Now the same patch with the volume and an envelope filter and we can edit this one accordingly, however. But you can use this memory mode for anything. Uh, for any, you don't have to create anything. Like if you have, if you have patches, factory patches in here that you like to use, like this SVT Clean and uh, SVT Drive. Those those both sound great. Or if you wanted to, 
let's say you have, uh, I'm just going through a few, prog base. Let's say you use the SVT clean, the SVT drive, and a prog base. You use all those together, and maybe fourth one, you have your own custom when you do. You can take all of those, and when you save the memory patch, you can save all of those into each, each patch together, so into a bank. That way, when you come into memory, you select which bank you want. And you can have all four of those tones easily accessible without having to keep scrolling through, scrolling through trying to find what you're looking for in the middle of a song or a set. But all right, I hope that explains some of the, the way you'd use memory on this. Uh, again, thanks everyone for watching the videos. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.